Tired of having no visibility in your Erlang and Elixir clusters? Do you find out about your system crashing only when your customers start complaining? Figuring out what caused a crash feels like looking for a needle in a haystack? There is a solution for your troubles. Wombat OAM is the only operations and maintenance system purpose-built to understand the behavior of Erlang and Elixir clusters. Whether you are running a proprietary application or an open source one such as Phoenix, React, RabbitMQ or Mongoose IM, Wombat OAM works out of the box and gives you full visibility and control over your system. You can easily visualize collected information in Wombat OAM's web dashboard or push it through our northbound interfaces to other OAM tools such as Graphite, Grafana and Nagios or to SaaS providers such as Splunk, Datadog and PagerDuty. Through its REST API, DevOps teams can integrate Wombat OAM requests in their workflow. Get in touch to find out more about Wombat OAM. Using Wombat OAM for chat. Wombat OAM is a great way to monitor your Elixir chat app. First, add your node and add the cookie. Wombat OAM will automatically connect you to your node. You will be redirected to an auto-generated dashboard. The dashboard contains panels with information about the metrics, alarms, statistics, and everything that is running on the node, live. You can modify, edit, add, and remove panels to build your own customized dashboard. This panel displays the request time for each specified status code, which you can monitor live. To add a new panel, click on the spanner icon in the top right-hand corner. Choose a panel type, select a node, and select the metric you want to monitor on the panel. We've selected WebSockets to monitor the number of clients on the dashboard. In this example, we can see 130 users connected to the dashboard of a Phoenix application. Here, it displays the number of connected users, all displayed live. You can also view historical metrics for the last 15 minutes, one hour, one day, or even one week. There you have it. Learn more about Wombat OAM and get a free trial at www.erlang-solutions.com. Wombat OAM, restfully. Add a node to Wombat OAM. Specify the node name and the cookie. Wombat OAM will automatically direct you to a dashboard where you can monitor all of your node stats. In this panel showing message queue length, we can see we have a problem. The message queue length is rising, which is not a good sign and can mean that the message queue length is stuck. When a long message queue occurs, Wombat OAM raises an alarm. In the Wombat OAM Alarms tab, the alarm is showing a process message queue error, along with information about the error and a proposed fix for it. Let's go to the Tools tab to check the Process Manager and see which process is causing this message queue. We can sort the processes by message queue size for ease. Click on the process for further information about the process. We can see that there are a number of stuck messages. From here, we are able to check the process error and debug it. Using the process name, we can now go to the topology tab and terminate the process with the error.
If we go back to the dashboard, we can see that the process with the long message queue has been terminated and that the process is now delivering the messages. There you have it. Learn more about Wombat OAM and get a free trial at www.erlang-solutions.com.